People struggle daily with illness. Some can be looked after with prescription medication. Some take a holistic approach. And while some, some suffer in silence. This happens daily, and it can happen to anyone, man, woman, or child. Edmonton marked its first annual Eating Disorder Awareness Week, and with that, this panel of men and women want to break stigmas down. And of course, this week is really all about uh, reaching out and connecting with people, so we've been putting up posters, and we've been sharing it on social media, and you know, doing all those things that you do to try and let people know that this is happening. There are a lot of myths and misunderstandings surrounding eating disorders, and with the new Eating Disorder Support Network of Alberta setting up in town, they can now get people on board to understanding that this is a real mental illness that affects people young and old. They want to help take away the shame that is attached to this illness and show that it's okay to ask for help. So far, the interest has soared beyond what Edna had hoped for, which is a huge step forward for this organization. It continues to be hard. It's every day. It, the thoughts that you have don't go away, they're still there. Um, the only difference between someone in recovery and someone not in recovery is that when you're in recovery, you've learned tools to deal with those thoughts. You know how to manage your anxiety. When we spoke with Alex, she mentioned that the U of A has one of the best treatment programs in Canada and that the youngest they can accept is 14 years old. This illness has been known to hit children as young as six. Staggering information. But with people like Alex and organizations like Edna, the time has come where we can take steps forward and leave this stigma behind. So while Eating Disorder Awareness Week may have been a big success, it's going to take a lot more than a single week to help fully eliminate the stigma surrounding the illness. If you'd like to know more, visit www.edsna.com. For Nate Newswatch, I'm Nathan Spence.